Today we're here with Heather Ashamara and we're going to be talking about the four agreements. Let's start off with a simple question. What are the four agreements? The four agreements are from a book by Don Miguel Ruiz and the first agreement is be impeccable with your word. Second agreement, don't take anything personally. Third agreement, don't make any assumptions. And the fourth agreement is to always do your best. What is an agreement? An agreement is something that we say yes to. So there are conscious agreements and unconscious mm -hmm. agreement. So an example of a conscious agreement is I will work at this job for this many hours for this much pay. And the truth is we make very few conscious agreements in our life. Most of the agreements that we have in our life are unconscious agreements. And I think about it as an iceberg. The tip of the iceberg is the conscious agreements and underneath is the unconscious agreements, which have a lot of power because they're usually attached to emotion. So what we are learning to do with the four agreements is to create four new conscious agreements that we start to use. And what they do is they help us to break the unconscious agreements. Hmm. So these four agreements, when you apply them to your life, how do they create change? Breaking these old agreements, what, what, what happens? I like to think about it this way, is that whenever we want to create change in our life, we set an intent and we actually are setting a new agreement. So many people read the four agreements and they take the second agreement, seems to be really super popular, don't take anything personally. Because you can feel if I just didn't take anything personally, my life would be so different. So people say, okay, I am never ever going to take anything personally again. <laughs> and then they walk out the front door. And of course, what happens within 10 minutes, you take something personally. But now you're aware that you just swore you'd never take anything personally again. And now you're taking it personally. So what we do next is usually judge ourselves. Mm. So what we want to learn to do with the four agreements is to use them knowing that the moment you say, I'm going to practice not taking anything personally. What you're probably going to see is the places you are taking things personally. Mm. And that will then help you to, to undo the old agreement that's underneath that. So it's a way to help us explore. It's a, a new moral code to help to guide us in our lives. How did you start working with the four agreements? I actually had a dream about Don Miguel Ruiz, who is the author, and I met Miguel before there was a book. He was teaching the Four Agreements at the time, but it was many years before the book came out. And I was really blessed to meet him right before he took on a group of apprentices. Mm -hmm. And so I then studied intensely with him for the next six years, meeting with him every month, traveling around the world with him. Uh -huh. And then in 2000, he made the decision to disband our group. And while I continued to travel with him, I started teaching with him, I went on to found an organization called the Toltec Center of Creative Intent. And that was my desire to take what I had learned and bring it to people in a new way. And that had been Miguel's request. He had said, everyone, go and make the teachings your own. And that was a really huge gift, is to really explore how could I take the four agreements and not keep them as just concepts, but embody them in my life. But that's been quite the journey, huh? It has been quite the journey, mm -hmm. yes. Do the four agreements give us any kind of meditation practice that you would recommend or awareness practice? They're a great awareness practice and they're also a beautiful thing to take into meditation. So one of the things that I love is this idea of asking better questions. We ask ourselves questions such like, why am I taking this personally? What's wrong with me? Why haven't I changed this? And those are not healing, helpful questions. <laughs> so to shift the question of how can I support myself in not taking this personally? What's the agreement behind this reaction that I'm having? Mm -hmm. It's the tone of the voice we're using with our questions. And so in meditation, we can sit and get quiet and drop that question into our mind, into our being. How can I not take anything personally mm. from this gentle place? 
And then as we're moving in the world, what I like to do with the four agreements is if I have a reaction towards something or if I go into fear or if my mind's really busy, I'll stop and I'll ask myself, which agreement are you going against right now? Which one are you not honoring? And I'll see, oh, I'm trying to do more than my best. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, I just made an assumption. And then without judgment, I can course correct. Wow. Well, thank you so much for talking to us about this book. If you're interested in learning more about the Four Agreements and how to start applying them in your life, please go to heatherashamara.com or watch some more videos on this awesome YouTube channel. Thank you.